Knicks family, what's poppin'? It's your boy. The New York Knicks were in Detroit tonight taking on the Pistons. And guess what? They got their first win for head coach Tom Thibodeau. Although after the game, he didn't look happy. That's Tom Thibodeau for you. The Knicks played good defense tonight, though, ladies and gentlemen. You can see him really getting down in their stance, scrapping up. And you love to see it from the Knicks because it's something that we have not seen recently as you see Nerlens Noel put that one in. And Nerlens Noel, ladies and gentlemen, I feel good about him. I feel good about him. Mitch, you better be careful. That's all I'm going to say. You guys know how, I, know how I feel about it. As you see, Noel gets the steal, gets it up to Alfred Payton, who hands it off to Julius Randle for the dunk. The Knicks go up 7-5. Seven, seven minutes left in that first quarter. As you see, Blake Griffin handle the ball a little bit, pulls back, knocks down the three, puts the Pistons up 8-7. to seven. But the Knicks played good defense tonight, ladies and gentlemen. They held the Pistons to like 32.5% shooting on the night. You see Alfred Payton go to the basket and lay that one home. Alfred Payton had a good game. He had 10 points and 7 assists. The Knicks up 11 to 10. They turn the ball over here as the Pistons race up the floor looking for the easy bucket. And they knock down a wide open three that bounces off the top of the backboard. You hate those kind of shots, ladies and gentlemen. The Pistons up 13-11 as Derrick Rose knocks down a mid-range jump shot. You guys might remember that from his time as a New York Knick. That was money. You better believe it. The Pistons up 15-11. to And boom. They knock down a three. They go up 18-11. to And you start to feel like, oh, maybe the Knicks are going to let this go. But it wasn't to be. As you see the rookie, Obi Toppin. He comes in the game with the young guys, gets his bucket, and you see Obi Toppin once again with the nice jump hook, probably talked to him by Kenny Payne, and the Knicks tie the score up at 18. The young guys on the floor, man, you see it. Dennis Smith Jr., Kevin Knox, Frank Nilakina, Mitchell Robinson, Obi Toppin. You like to see a young lineup like that as Kevin Knox knocks down the mid-range jump shot, Obi Toppin. He finds Kevin Knox, who goes to the basket, hands it back off to Obi Toppin for the dunk. We're looking forward to seeing that for years to come, ladies and gentlemen. 25-18 Knicks as the Pistons miss the, re the three-point basket, but Jaleel Okafor grabs the rebound and puts it back up. You guys remember that guy. He was supposed to be the next coming of the big man in the NBA. Wasn't exactly to happen, but hey, here he goes again. Lays that one in one more time. 25 to 23, the Knicks are up by two. Obi Toppin finds Dennis Smith Jr. Obi Toppin played a good game, man. Obi Toppin had 11 points, seven rebounds. He had one assist as he's just seen it there to Dennis Smith Jr. Dennis Smith Jr. didn't play bad himself. He had seven points, two assists, one rebound. As he's learning to be a facilitator out there on the floor to see Sadiq Bey get his bucket. I like that kid, Sadiq Bey. I wanted him to be on the Knicks, but it wasn't to be. It's Blake Griffin blows past Obi Toppin, and that's something that scares me. Teams are going to try to get Obi Toppin out in space, go past him, but he'll get it. As you see, Alfred Payton find New Orleans Noel, and then Julius Randle finds Reggie Bullock for the three and knocks it down. Reggie Bullock only had a few minutes tonight, but we'll expect to see more of that guy. See R.J. Barrett. He goes in, pulls back, knocks down the fadeaway. He had 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. He was 7 for 16 from the field. R.J. Barrett started off 0 for 6, but he recovered in the second half of the game. As you see the Pistons knock that one home to pull the game a little closer, 40 to 37. That's R.J. Barrett one more time. Lays that one home off the backdoor cut. Nice move by the rook. Uh, he's no longer a rookie. By the second year, the sophomore. Alfred Payton finds New Orleans Noel. New Orleans Noel, ladies and gentlemen, he had 10 points, 8 rebounds, 2 blocks, 1 steal, and 1 assist. He was 5 for 7 from the field. Be careful, Mitch. That's all I got to say. 46 to 43, the Knicks had the lead at the end of the second quarter. And you see Alfred Payton goes to the basket and lays that one home. Alfred Payton's numbers on the night, man. He had... 10 points, 7 assists, 6 rebounds. If he could just shoot the 3, man, Alfred Payton could... If he could just shoot the 3. 53-49. to 49, 9 minutes to go in the third quarter. The Knicks are up. Now 55-49. to 49, As you see, 
Blake Griffin knocks down a three, and Tom Thibodeau was hot, ladies and gentlemen. He was hot because there was a missed assignment, and he had a wide open three, caught a timeout, and cussed everybody out. And Alfred Payton goes to the basket there and gets that dunk. It always surprises me that Alfred Payton gets those dunks when he goes to the basket. As New Orleans Noel finds R.J. Barrett, who lays that one home, 59 to 52. The Knicks are up by seven. Alfred Payton, uh, New Orleans Noel finds Alfred Payton, who lays that one home. The Knicks go up nine, halfway through the third quarter, or a little more than, a little less than halfway through the through the third quarter. As you see the Pistons having a hard time because the Knicks are playing some suffocating defense. Noel gets the rebound, but it gets knocked out of his hand and Plumley puts that one in. The Knicks up 63 to 64. You see him bring in the rebound and Alfred Payton looks up and nice fast break there by the New York Knicks. You like to see it ran that way. The Knicks go up 11. They continue to play the stifling defense. Nothing came easy for Detroit. That was a tomahawk dunk, but it didn't come easy. That's what you want to see. That's what you like to see. Julius Randle, he takes the ball, kicks it back out to R.J. Barrett, who goes to the basket. Nice layup with the left. Well, of course, he's a lefty, so it's going to be with the left hand. 67, 69 now to 56. The Knicks up 13. And you see the harassing defense. He knocked down the three, but the defense is still harassing. You got to love it. I love that kind of defense. And this guy right here, Dennis Smith Jr., been working on his three-point shot all season long. He knocks that one home or all during the offseason. He's been working with Mahmoud abdul Raouf, one of the best three-point shooters ever in the history of the game. You see Dennis Smith Jr. there. Lay that one home with a nice around-the-world type of layup. And OB Toppin, he goes to the basket. Spin move, gets inside, spin move again, gets fouled. You like the moves by the young rook. Knicks fans are excited, man. I'm excited. Frank Nilakina, he knocks down the mid-range jump shot. Frank Nilakina on the night had seven points. Two for five from the field. Knocked down his only three-point shot. You like to see that from Frank Nilakina. Dennis Smith Jr. with the turnover there. The Knicks up 79 to 61. But the Pistons weren't going away, ladies and gentlemen. They were not going away. They're going to continue to fight. This is the Wayne Casey team. That's what's going to happen. As you see, they get the fast break layup there to cut the lead to 14. Josh Jackson. Frank Nilakina is looking for Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox with the hard take to the basket. You like to see that from Kevin Knox. We need Kevin Knox to have a good year, ladies and gentlemen. So you like to see him playing aggressive like that. And if he plays aggressive like that, good things are going to happen for Kevin Knox. The Knicks are up 81-68. to Five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And, you know, you think that the game is done, but the Detroit Pistons have something to say about that. Sadiq Bey put a couple moves on Julius Randle, pulls it up and knocks it down. He doesn't get a lot of lift on that shot, but he still knocked it down. I like that kid. You guys know that. I wanted him to be the New York Knicks, but he wasn't. He didn't end up being. He's a Piston now. Don't matter because R.J. Barrett lays it home with the nice spin move. Put the Knicks back up 11. Two minutes left in the game. Pistons knock down the three. They're not going away. No, it's just a preseason game, but you want them to go away. The Pistons are on a fast break one more time. Boom. Nice move to the cup inside. Lay up. And all of a sudden, it's a six-point game. Julius Randle has the ball at the top. He goes in. He pulls up from the free throw line, gets fouled, and brings it home. Julius Randle wasn't having a good quarter up to that point. So he needed that one. 90 to 81. The Knicks pull out a win in Detroit. Get, they get Tom Thibodeau their first his first win as a Knicks head coach. Obi Toppin. Gets his first win as a rookie. What can you say, ladies and gentlemen? We're looking forward to the next one. Peace.